Hi guys, this is Tom from Kurusol again. Uh, if you follow my Instagram, I'm sure you guys already know that my favorite, one of my favorite type of boots are Chelsea boots uh, because Chelsea boots are easier to put in on and off because they don't have <clears throat> laces and they just have elastic bands here so it's easy to put, put on and off and they look great with anything else, uh, any, anything that you wear. For example, I can wear suits with Chelsea boots and I can wear, you know, just jeans with Chelsea boots so um, Chelsea boots are one of my favorite type of boots that I go for when I have an option to buy them uh, today I have Loke Chetworth Chelsea boots for you guys previously I reviewed Loke Mitchum Chelsea boots which were made of brown suede and uh, if you guys remember they had terrible elastic bands on the side so um, I explained before that when I was reviewing Mitchum that I prefer these which are Chet, Chet's worth and then I said I will review them as soon as possible. So to tell you the brief history of Loke, Loke is a, a British, also a British shoemaker like Trickers or Chini or Churches that you guys are probably familiar with. Um, I choose Loke sometimes when I buy shoes because they are better than what they are worth. For example, these are 250 pounds on the internet, but I think they are much better quality compared to certain uh, shoes that I will not name, uh, which are more expensive than these. So Loke was found by John William and Thomas Loke in the 1880s, so they are probably uh, now 140 years old. and. I'll explain more about their history on the comment section. I'll just post a link about their history so you guys can read about their history clicking the link on my comment section. Also I have uh, shined these very quickly before I started filming them. I'll post a filming vi uh, shining video as well. It was a quick shine just because the toes were really scuffed. so. Uh, if you guys can check that out as well, that will be amazing. I bought these Chelsea boots uh, last, sorry, two years ago in December 2019 when, you know, there were no pandemic and everyone could travel. I was in the UK to see some of my families and I purchased these Loke Chelsea boots in the UK. This is Loke 1880s line, uh, which is considered more premium compared to the other footwear that they produce which have lesser leather quality or construction method and cheaper construction method and you can tell that the difference between the you know the premium line and the non-premium line uh, considering the uh, if you just look at the photos let's just go straight into sizing these local chat worth are uk 11 g g width with uh, uk 11 size the last use is called jockery uh, they do explain on the internet that jockery is a more spacious last compared to the other last that they use and I do I can feel it when I actually wear them and uh, you can you guys can see as well like they are uh, the the volume is a bit more spacious compared to other low Chelsea boots that I wear I should have got 10.5 G though because they're a tiny bit bigger than I wanted wanted them to be but that's okay there are no hill slips or it's not uncomfortable to wear so I will just keep them as they are and they are comfortable um, to wear for, for a very long time as well so I'll just keep them this size but if you're trying to buy Loke Chatsworth I would recommend you to go half a size down to your you know true to size that you usually wear with sneakers or other boots uh, if, you guys, if you guys can try this that they'll be great but a lot of people a lot of retail stores don't really ca carry Loke. If you're gonna buy these online straight off, you guys should just purchase them half size smaller than your normal size. These Loke Ch Chatsworth have Dynite soles. Uh, it says British made Dynite, and these are Goodyear welted. You, you guys can see that these are Goodyear welted. I love Dynite soles because they are still, well, they're not considered formal, I guess, but they can pass, you know, in a business meeting you know, no one's gonna check your soles and see if they're leather made. So these are great and they're less slippery and they last longer compared to the leather soles. The pull tabs. There are two pull tabs on the front and the back of the shoes and these are very, very sturdy. I love them. The, the other low Chelsea boots that I've reviewed have only one uh, pull tab here, which uh, is 
Uh, I mean, it doesn't make it harder to wear them, but it's easier. It's so much easier if you pull from the front and the back to put the Chelsea boots on. Usually Chelsea boots have tighter ankle area because they have to hold your feet because they don't have laces here. So they need some kind of method to hold your feet. So they are tighter here and more voluminous on the foot area. But since they're tighter here, it's some, sometimes harder to put on. So they put two pull tabs here, which is great touch. I like them. Also, something to mention compared to the Mitchum is that the elastic bands are weaved. They're weaved and they're stronger. They're much thicker as well. They're much stronger compared to the Mitchum one. If you guys remember, the elastic bands were terrible. Uh, they were just like, you know, they just look bad and they were like all loose and stuff. But this is much sturdier and I can tell that this is not gonna go uh, loose or bad anytime soon hopefully ever so that I can wear them as long as I can. Look really doesn't specify what, what kind of leather that they used on these but you know you can just tell that this is cowhide and the lining feels like it's calf because it's really soft and they usually use calf lining rather than cowhide because it's softer and doesn't cause any blisters on your feet. If you guys are interested in buying the Loak Chatsworth I would recommend you to go to Loke's website because they carry eight other leather type in this model they have black brown and uh, sorry black and brown leather and black brown tobacco suede and they also carry uh, waxed waxed suede which I want to try if I have chance any chance in the future these are called these are um, 250 pounds in the, their actual website. I think you guys can buy these in $300, $350 in usual low retailers if you're buying from abroad. I personally think that these are a very good purchase because I wanted the black Chelsea boots that I can wear anywhere and also I didn't really want expensive black Chelsea boots because they're black Chelsea boots. Like they're very common. No one's gonna be like, hey, where are those boots from? Because they're just plain black Chelsea boots. And I wanted something from Britain because it's easier for me to resole because I'll be moving to the UK very, very soon. And these were perfect because these were cheap that I wanted to buy from other brands. They're cheap. They are good quality. Loc is very, very good with their quality compared to their price. And these were good well to so that means they can be resold again. I am very sad that Loke doesn't really do much of their advertising because not many people really know about Loke. Unless you're from Europe, I guess. Like, not many people really know about Loke. Uh, we have Loke in Korea. Uh, I'm sure a lot of retailers carry everywhere in the world, but not many people or in the community, they really don't really talk about Loke. I think they need to step up their game in terms of like oh they need to advertise more you know social media friendly compared to other brands they're not so i think they should target social media even more if they want to increase their presence in the shoe market i think they're really solid and i like them um so if you guys want to buy them check down the link below i wasn't paid to do this review it's just you know <laughs> like any other shoe reviews that i do it's because uh I like shoes and uh, I like to, I want to share more information with you guys. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. This was Tom from Kudosol and I'll come back with more reviews and more unboxing videos very soon. Bye bye. Thank you for watching.